Hello, hello and welcome to another update video about silver. Yeah, unfortunately not much new stuff to mention. The microstructure from the swing low that formed on Friday is not very clear. Um, I highlighted to you that I'm watching for a bounce. Well, here is your bounce. It just isn't very impulsive to the upside. So I'm highly, yeah, you know, I'm skeptical that a low is in. Um, it could be in, you know, the wave count to the downside is technically complete. But as I explained to you in the last video, there is also a reasonable scenario where this here was just a B wave rally and we're moving down currently in a C wave. Um, and we are still, you know, we still need a little bit more downside. It all depends on whether this support area is holding or not. So the market is clearly respecting it. Okay, so my interpretation is that this here is a possible five wave move up, not the cleanest. The fifth wave is a bit weak, but it's the possible five wave move up here from the uh, swing low from the 7th of August. Yeah, The pullback can be considered an A, B, C. C wave is ending diagonal. Bit of a messy structure, but metals sometimes, they just develop sometimes these messy structures. And then, yeah, you can, you can call the move down technically completed. The market reacted now a few times to that golden ratio level, but it's clear that this golden ratio, the 61.8 retracement at $27.80, it has not developed enough upside momentum to, well, before already, you know, even here, yeah, when the market uh, bottomed there locally on the 3rd of September, this was not enough upside momentum to generate a proper impulse. It was a three wave move up as we discussed at length in the last video. And now it's trying again, but it's again not impulsive. So I don't have a clear one, two setup from the low. And it might take a few more days before this one, two setup develops um, if it holds support. Yeah. So what I want to see is something like that. I mean, this could be anything really. It's just too messy. But what I want to see is something like one, two, three, four, five. I want to see this five wave move. This would be the wave one then a pullback could be wave two and that's what i would call a one two setup and then i can define the next support zone but for now i'm not very confident that this support area will hold based on the microstructure i need the next set of five waves well that would give me confidence if we go down further yeah i mean you could or we could argue that if i zoom out a little bit I can I can argue that the initial decline was in three waves, absolutely. So it was possibly an A wave. A. This move up might have been wave B. And then we're moving down in wave C now. It would be a five wave move. Um, that C wave could be an ending diagonal. So the, the initial move down, which was now in yeah three waves, we can say one, two, three, four, five. It, you know, essentially, once we break below $27.18, this is what I will go with. The price would then simply have moved down to low and it had a couple of chances to recover. Hasn't used them, okay? And if the bulls have a chance a couple of times and they fail, that's usually a signal that the bears are taking the lead and the price could then drive us down, first of all, to test the 7th of August low at $26.40, but whenever we break below the 78.6 retracement, it also increases the, let's say, probabilities that we're actually breaking that. And then we go lower into that region here, the yellow support region with the next FIP levels um, to test around, oh, one second, around here, $25.94 and $24 next. So. I'm still watching for reversal here. It's it's plausible. The rally was in five waves, but the momentum is just not there at the moment. Maybe CPI data tomorrow is going to shake things up a little bit. So sometimes we don't see much action the day before the CPI, and then we'll see a lot of scenarios completed within a few minutes, right? So be prepared for a lot of volatility, uh, volatility tomorrow. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you're interested in daily updates about the S&P 500, as well as regular updates about stocks, feel free to check out our stocks and S&P 500 service. You'll find the link in the description. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.